y'all a review on the 96 SS Impala. Today we're gonna we're gonna get that done. We're gonna get that done today. So I'm over here. I'm on the way. I'm on the way to my man's house right now. I'm gonna go pick it up. We're gonna get this review out the way, man. Nah, 96 Impala. Is the best Impala, second best in my opinion. I like the six foot first, and I want one, and I want to do it just like Doughboy here he is on uh, Boys in the Hood, the exact same way. I'm gonna get one one day. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna take it to a customization shop where they do switches, paint all them like. Make this look like doughboys. I want it to look just like that. Got them switches on that thing, all that. But 96 though was the last of the Mohicans, basically. At the 96, Impala wasn't the same. It was, I don't know, just a car. In my, in my opinion. No, they had a few SS models after that, 08s and stuff like that, but front wheel drive, front wheel drive, super sport, sedan. Why? I don't want it. You're going to get a lot of torque still. And for those, for those of y'all don't know what torque steer is, torque steer is torque steer is what you get when you got a lot of power in a front wheel drive car when you smash the gas and it gets to burning rubber and spinning all that stuff and then you feel the car s s swinging to left and right and whatever torque steer you got too much power in the front and to me that's dumb just, just my honest opinion. It's like some dumb shit. But the 96 was the last rear wheel drive Impala. Big body. It was luxury and sport. Like, you got so much room in them cars. And it rides real smooth. And It was, it was just a hell of a car. SS. A lot of people clone them. You know. Get a regular Impala and put SS on it and all of the stuff. Might have changed the engine. Might not. But. We're going to get into that right now. I see it. LT1 V8. Got the original motor and everything. You say you gonna get what in here though? I'm gonna get um. Uh, and they got they got some forges that look like replica. Let me show them to you. Replica what? Original? Yeah, they look just like the replica. The nigga currency got some on his shit. Man, y'all see this motherfucker? This motherfucker, he had it, uh, it was painted before you grabbed this motherfucker? This ain't never the original paint. This motherfucker's garage cap? Garage cap. They look, they look like the forges, though. They look like, damn near like the replica. I seen them before. You know what I'm saying? Like the replica. You gonna paint them or you gonna leave them brushed? Brushed. <laughs> man, y'all see, this the last, this the last of the Mohegans right here, man. Any Impala came out after this? What's some bullshit? For real, for real. Got 
got the flip up screen in here. Y'all know, man, back when these out, these is that thing. 260 horsepower, 330 pound feet of torque. Sitting on some IROX. And this mug low too. Tucking them IROX. What's these 20? Damn. Man, when this came out, this that Bookham right here. This is this that's what you call this. This that Bookham. You say you got some some sounds in here. Look at that, man. When this made when this came out, man. This transformer radio in this joint. Ain't no clone either. Real 96 SS. Hey, he got another one too. He got a ooh. Damn, they got the box, the trunk insulated. Q bomb box. You don't even listen to this shit, do you? And we listen to this. You barely even drive it. Don't let me take it off your hands. <laughs> I can flip. I know somebody who who will sell their soul for one of these right now. I know somebody who will sell their soul for this joint right here. Damn. I don't know what's the, what's this. He said it's the original paint on her, y'all. I think it was. I think this joint was lowered for sure. Z tucking them I rocks too good. Hey, you won't even, you barely, hey, he got another, hey, wait till they see that Benz though. So we can do that with whatever. Wait till they see that Benz though. When I seen them forges and I'm like, what? Whatever, Probably do it next. What's, damn, what's this? This is what they got it mounted down to? Yeah, yeah, to get it, get it drilled in. Yeah, definitely won't want to drill into the car. Yeah, this mug decent. I don't even want to touch the motherfucker. All right, y'all. We're going to take them for a little test drive. All right, we got them out on the road. It is hot as hell right now. Let's see how this boy ride. Man, listen, 260, 260 horsepower. Might not seem like much, but when this came out, it wasn't no Hellcats, it wasn't none of that shit. It wasn't none of that shit then, so. 330 pound feet of torque. And this is a boat. Y'all think Chargers and Challengers is, is boats? This a real one, I'm talking about real boat. And it moves. For real, for real. Like I said, my man's, whose car this is, Got a got a uh, a Benz man S550 big boy sitting on some forges clean as hell. We gonna set up a date and get that one done soon. But right now, and it's hot, man. It's it's 89 degrees out here right now. And I call myself checking the weather before I came out here in sweats. I guess when I checked, it was only 60, like you said. It, it, it ain't 60 no more, I tell you that. Man, this, are, this, you got so much room in here. 
phone. Kyle trying to eat my phone. Come on, man. What you, what you sitting up for? What's wrong with you? Checking out the car. I see you. That nigga admiring the car. Don't even want to drive his own shit. Man, this big motherfucker ride smooth. I ain't gonna lie to you. got a four-speed automatic transmission in it. Man, starting price for these joints back in 90, 96 was like 22,000, but you can get them all the way up to just up under 34. And to this day, they hold value real good. Like, you ain't no problem selling this car and getting you a nice fraction of your money back. Like these, real, they really held up and they really held up in value all, uh, over the years. The Impalas, they come out now like the newest Impalas don't even got a SS trim. I hope Chevy one day will make another Impala rear wheel drive and, and SS like man some real like some real like people want a, a, a sports sedan man like an Impala Impala I feel like it's they flagship. It is they flagship vehicle. They, the Impala ain't never went out of style. Most popular years was 6.4. I feel 6.4 was number one. Then right after was this. And then after that, they just started making crazy shit. Um, front wheel drive. They got SS front wheel drive Impala. Man, you hit that gas, you get good torque still. Like the mug just started going. That's, who, who want a car with all the power in the front? I don't understand. You gotta be in reverse to do donuts and shit. Which I have done before, but it'd be better if I could just, you know, not. But yeah, man. I don't know what happened right here though. I don't know what the fuck be going on. This ain't my tires all on the ground. Motherfucker, my tires, hey, they cost. I'm trying to keep them where they at. All right, gang, I finally got that review knocked down, man. I've been wanting to get, get my hands on that car for a while, man. For real. It's a Tesla behind me. That car, it feel more luxury than sport. But, you know, it ain't nothing to get that motherfucker riding like a goddamn scatter of a cat. But, um, next, Next on a on a review on a car review tip, I'm gonna try to get my hands on my man's SS Mero. He got one of the fucking prettiest fucking blues made on his goddamn Camaro, and he got the uh, color match rims to match it. My fucking look good.
be off with all these bikes on their damn truck. Better not drop one. That's it for this video, man. Like I say, next, next, next on the review tip, man, we're gonna get a hold of this SS. And another thing too, man, man, they might be coming home real soon. But y'all stay tuned, man, till the next time. Thank y'all for watching. Hey, big shout out to my homeboy, Will, man, for letting me review this iconic Impala. Y'all can go give him a follow over at the gram. I'm gonna have his information pop up. If y'all want to follow the build, y'all know he got some legendary stuff coming for it. So, yeah, man, go do that.